everybody, it is Monday, May 4th, and we're gonna be starting off the month of May with a hero workout every Monday. So we're gonna start off with the workout Cho. This workout is going to be 35 minutes long. It has a buy-in of nine man makers, followed by 11 burpees. In the remaining amount of time, you're going to be doing a 300 meter run, 27 air squats, and nine handstand push-ups. So if we do not have handstand push-ups, we'll be replacing those handstand push-ups with hand release push-ups. 35 minutes of solid work ahead of us. To start off with our warm-up, bring you into those ankles first. Go ahead and give me five ankle circles one direction and then five the other direction. Once you've done that, go ahead and switch feet. When you've completed your ankle circles, we're gonna go ahead and press up for 10 calf raises. And after those calf raises, we're gonna go to a reverse leg cradle into a reverse lunge and reach up nice and tall. And we're gonna alternate until you get five on each side. Once you've done five on each side, we're gonna go into a forward leg cradle with a forward lunge and a little twist until you get through five on each side. Once you finish with that, bring those feet together in your squat stance. Go ahead and grab onto the tops of your shoes and we're gonna knock out 10 bootstrapper squats. Once you've done 10 bootstrapper squats, we're gonna take our thumbs out to the side and we're gonna go five small, five medium, five as large as we can make them arm circles. Once you've done that, Flip those thumbs facing down and take it backwards. Five small, five medium, and five as large as we can get them. Once we've completed that, we're gonna hinge over, thumbs still facing up, and we're gonna go 10 I's directly out in front, 10 Y's out to the side, and then 10 T's all the way out to the side. Once you finish with that, we're gonna inchworm, loading up those shoulders. Once we get into that solid push-up position, I want 10 scat push-ups. So you're gonna drop those shoulders and then pull them apart. Drop and pull 10 scat push-ups. Once you've done that, go ahead and bring it all the way to the floor, arms out in front, and we're gonna squeeze into that Superman and lower back down. Go ahead and give me 10 Supermans. Once we've done 10 Supermans, we're going to flip this over, pull those heels in towards your butt, drive those hips up to the air, and do 10 glute bridges. And after we've done those glute bridges, we're gonna come up into a solid hollow position and we're gonna knock out 20 flutter kicks. And once you've done that, we're gonna bring it back up to our feet and start talking about the movements of this workout. So it's gonna start off with the man maker. Man makers today are gonna be a little bit different than what we did last week. It's gonna start off with one push-up. So if you have two dumbbells, I want you to use two dumbbells. I only have one right now, so imagine that I have another one in my hand, but it's gonna be one push-up. At the top of that push-up, you're gonna go right arm row, and then left arm row. Then you're gonna jump your feet up into that sprawl position, do a full clean into that thruster, so a cluster, and then that is one rep, so no lunges today. Bring it back down to the ground, Follow it up with a push-up, row with one arm, row with the other arm, jump the feet up, hit that cluster, and that is two reps. Just keep in mind that you got two dumbbells, you'll be pressing both of them overhead, okay? So nine man makers to start off with. Go ahead and warm that up by doing two man makers. Once you finish with that, we have burpees, all right, 11 burpees. To warm that up, we're going to do three burpees. Taking your chest and thigh all the way to the ground, jump the feet up, and clap overhead. Three reps. Now, once we've completed that, we have a 300 meter run. So, if you have marked out your run, you know the distance, you'll be fine to run your 300. If not, we're gonna run a minute, so about a minute out and a minute back, similar to our 400 meter, just a roundabout time, something to make sure you're getting a lot of footsteps in. And then when we get back, we have air squats. So what we're gonna do with our air squats is we're gonna go ahead and get our feet in that squatting position. You're gonna take your butt back and down, below parallel, and stand nice and tall, all right? So what we're looking for is for the hip crease to pass that knee crease and to see that full extension at the top. So we don't wanna shorten the range of motion, all right? And we also don't wanna get super lazy and just kinda plummet down there. So we're gonna keep that chest up, knees driven out, 
Nice and solid bottom position and stand tall. Go ahead and give me 10 air squats. Now, once you've done those air squats, we're gonna talk about the handstand push-up. To warm that up, we're gonna do some hand release push-ups, which will be the scale for the movement today. So, hand release push-up. We're going all the way down to the ground, release the hands, and press up with the hips and the shoulders rising together. If we're using our knees, same thing. Release the hands, hips and shoulders rise together, okay? So let's go ahead, even if we're doing handstand push-ups today, let's knock out four hand release push-ups. Now after we've done those hand release push-ups, we're going to do some pike push-ups. So, almost like you're gonna do a downward dog, we're just gonna press our butt up into the air, and you're gonna take your head down towards the floor, touch the top of the head, and press back up, okay? So we wanna make sure that we're keeping our butt up and we're pressing through the shoulders. Go ahead and give me four of those pike push-ups. Now, if you're gonna be kicking up the wall and doing handstand push-ups today, kick up against the wall, give yourself a nice solid 10 second hold. Come back down, and then when you've recovered, kick back up, get two to three handstand push-ups in, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. 35 minutes, y'all. It begins with nine man makers and 11 burpees. And then after that, in the remaining time, we'll have a 300 meter run, followed by 27 air squats and nine handstand push-ups.